What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's basketball playoff time. You know what it is. Your boy, Mr. Papi, a.k.a. Mucho Fuego. Rob, Philly Rob is in the building. You know what I mean? I got my mans out here with me. What's going on, fam? What's going on? What's going on? You know, Jimmy back in the building. You know, All I'm going right. to for the first time a Chicago team. I'm going to represent the Sox. You know, no Bulls love. So <laughs> let's talk about the NBA playoffs. I'm ready. Let's go. All the teams in the East are already set up in the playoffs. I'm talking about the Bucks against your Bulls. They not, not your Bulls? No, sir. Oh, man. All right. Now nah, you said it. You're a San Antonio guy. Yes, and then we got sir. my sixes against the Raptors. Who do you have in that Bucks versus Bulls series? Man? Talk to me. How many games and who's moving on to the second round? Clean sweep. Clean sweep. I don't see the Bulls in one game. Clean sweep. Wow! Blew out every game. Please, you, you gotta you gotta tell me what brand of of a, of a broom is that 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 the Bucks are gonna be using? Is it Rubbermaid? Is it you gotta give me a brand here? You know they gonna they gonna hit them with the broom when you dust the <coughs> floor in the gym. They are gonna get a dust mop. Ooh. Dust mop. You know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. They got too Kill much. Kill them slowly, the fam. They got too much for the Bulls, man. And I know I know the Chicago people going to get on me. But like I always say, they get their hopes up. And I love Chicago fans because they, they get so much on the high. And I love it. Then at the end of the year, I always, they let them down. You know, Zach going to let them down. They're going to be ready to throw them out. So, the Rose ain't gonna let him down. He been he been killing all year. He gonna choke in the playoffs. Levine just gonna do Levine. So they threw man. They ain't got Lonzo Ball. They threw. They done. Yeah, that's rough. That's real rough. Some huge loss for Chicago. They were balling. Everything was running smoothly through um, through him. But you know when he's not there in the court, like we talked about, you know before we started recording, man. Like it's just like. This guy loves to play a little bit of hero ball in Levine, and it just throws everything off. Start beating his chest, and I can do it myself. And like, nah, bro, it's a team game. So you know what? I don't think it's gonna be a sweep. I think it's gonna be a six six game, six games. Um, uh, you know, it, it, man, it, it, look, Chicago's a good team, bro. Like, I, I I get it that they haven't beat like any elite teams pretty much all year. Like, even the the Sixers sweep them. In the in the regular season series, but I'm telling you, man, they, they, the Bulls are a nice team. They, this is this is not their year, you know. what I mean, just right now, until the Quampo is playing on a whole different level, um, except for like he's not playing better than Embiid, but he's up there. You know what I mean? He really is, and his team is meshed. They have great great chemistry. They have a decent coach. And they have a great uh, home court advantage. You know, those fans over there in Milwaukee, they can get loud. So even though it's only, what, an hour and a half difference, driving distance from Chicago to Milwaukee, you know, Milwaukee's going to win it in six. And there's no question about it. I, You know, I, I don't think the sweep is going to happen. They'll yeah. at least win one game. But I think the Bulls have two games in them in this Look series. Here, man. Look here. This is going to be a continuation from football season. The way the Packers spank the Bears. Milwaukee finna show Chicago how they do it. So they just finna continue what the Packers do to Bears. Shout out, Gio. I know you somewhere. Smash the TV. So I had to throw that in on them just to, just to give them a good punch. So they just finna continue what they've been doing to Chicago. So sweet. And I'm, I'm finna love it. So next series. <laughs> uh, so next, man, we got the Sixers and the Raptors. I think this is going to go to a seven-game series. I think the Sixers are going to win it, but it's going to be really ugly. Uh, this team is really fast, and we're not a fast team. The Sixers are not a fast team, except for Maxi. Man, uh, it's scary how slow this team is. Slowly but surely, uh, Tobias Harris is playing a little bit better. 
I want to see what he's going to do in that first game because we pay him a way too much money for him to be a role player in this team. You know what I mean? And, you know, Embiid is going to put up his 40, but at the end of the day, it's going to fall on the shoulders of, you know, of Harden. You know, what is he, what Harden is going to show up? The guy who's going to put in 15 assists or the guy that's going to score 30 or 35 or the guy who's not going to do anything in this game. And, you know, I got a really bad feeling about this series because, He's been struggling. He's lost that first step, that quick first step that he used to rely on so much. And he's no longer getting those those foul calls like he used to back in the day. So, you know, that that those his numbers have dipped and they have dipped for a reason. You know, he's an older version of a guy that will always comes short. You know what I mean? That's why I always tell people, even in his prime, when he had uh Houston, he always, you know, falls short. And it's kind of scary because now he got all the help in the world with the MVP of the league and Embiid, which we will talk about later on in this segment or in this video. But, you know, um, uh, yeah, no, for real. Like, I, I'm having, like, serious thoughts about this trade. And, you know, I said it earlier, like, they messed up. They should have went for Halle Burton. If they were giving us Halle Burton, Buddy Hill, and a ton of picks, and we gave away picks. And we gave away the, one of the best play, shooters in the NBA. And then we gave up the the best fucking backup center in the league who could be a starter in half of the teams in the in the NBA. That was a big price to pay for a guy who's like at the back end of his prime. You know what I mean? Who do you think is going to win this series and how many games? You know what? Philly, Philly should win, but I will, I won't bet on them. Because James Harden is trash in the playoffs. He always choked. Tobias Harris is garbage in the playoffs. When you need him, he's trash. Um, if Philly was smart, they would go 90s basketball, slow it down, bang him at the, in the post, feed him B, slow the game down. But MB want to shoot jumpers. He want to shoot threes and all that instead of just going to the post, killing them. You know, Toronto ain't got nobody that can stop um, Embiid, but I think they're going to play into Toronto hands. You know, I like Toronto. Uh, Van Vliet, Scotty Barnes, you know what I'm saying, Siakam. You know, I think they're going to, like you say, get up and down the floor on Philly and they're going to uh, mess up Embiid, and I think they're going to beat them. Uh, it may go six to seven, but I'm going to uh, go with Toronto, man. I don't I don't trust them either. I don't trust. I don't trust the Sixers either. I don't. I don't. It was a really ugly end of the season, and you know what? D Doc Rivers, Doc Rivers, Glenn Rivers. I'm sorry. The only Doc in Philly is Doctor J. Uh, <laughs> yo, it's been ugly, man. He doesn't know how to use the bench. Sometimes he pulls all the starters when we're up 15, and then he puts the whole bench. And then the next, the other team gets caught up with us, and then it's too late to get in rhythm for the starters. Uh, it's just Doc River has has been a disaster. He'd be the pay, the perfect Lakers coach. Oh my God, I can't wait to see him in the purple and gold. That'd be great. That'd be beautiful to see him fuck up that franchise. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just I, I have no faith in the Sixers. I said it before. It's my team. I'm only watching because I'm a fan, but. I, I would not be surprised if we out in the first fucking round, like on the real. Like it, it's I'm locally ugly, the, the kind of basketball that we're playing right now. I'm going with Toronto. Playing the summer. You got Toronto? Yeah. All right. I feel you. Yo, and that was the end of the show. You can catch us wherever you get your podcast at Ball Sports Network. You can catch us on Facebook and YouTube on Open Gym Sports and Culture. You can catch us on Twitter and Instagram, OG Sports Culture. And this was brought to you by the Ball Sports Network and the OOC. Jimmy, you got any shout outs? I only got one. Love 1030. Thanks for having me on. Catch y'all next show. All right. I got a shout out for the Tito Johnson Foundation out there in Puerto Rico doing good work always. My name is Philly Rob, and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Water Break. You feel me? Go Sox, baby. <laughs> <laughs>